Oh, hi. What's up, everybody? Well, hello. Listen, Welcome. Is it better here or here? Here Um. Here? I mean, closer here. is good. If closer. you want to just shoot here. that. Here. Yeah. Yes. Here. Yeah. I want to get all close mm. in and up in there. Uh, <laughs> yes, I will get close and talk about trailer talk. Dude, Uh, you know, we're just going to jump into it because we have three trailers to talk about today. Like, it's, it was like trailer palooza the last, like, six days. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I, I don't even, I can't even remember. How many trailers dropped? That's how many trailers dropped. I just um, watched the second uh, season for the. Um, I'm totally blanking on the name. I'm just thinking Decoding Dragons, House of Dragon. Yeah. Um, I just watched that like like literally before I popped on here because I was like, I want to watch that. So it, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Like Fallout trailer dropped. Yeah. Like that's. Yeah. I, I want to talk about that, but uh, listen, we had mm. we had to pick and choose, and we picked I think three. There's uh, three good ones. Um, what else? Like, uh, like did I you see the trusted. Masters of Air trailer? Masters of Air. Masters of Air. It's a new Apple Plus series. It no, looks insane. No. I want to watch that now. See? Damn it! Sorry. God, you're so adding to the trailers. list, Dan. I know. There's a new. <laughs> I'll leave. There's a, Bye. There's a new <laughs> like Bob scary. Marley One Love trailer that dropped. Oh I mean, yeah. Uh, and we all know there's like an interesting like ice uh, ISIS, not ISIS. The the um. But like I, I was the, gonna be like, uh, where are you fact- going with this, bro? <laughs> not not the uh, terrorist uh, group, but ISIS, the International Space Station. There's okay. a really interesting trailer that. So, like, if you guys are like really into kind of like weird indie sci-fi uh, thrillers, like that mm-hmm. are kind of based on in a weird reality world, uh, go check out that trailer. That's kind of cool, uh, guys. Uh, I don't even uh, Halo season two trailer dropped. Uh, mm-hmm. You mentioned House of the Dragon, The Boys season. What is oh, it? Four trailer four. Mm-hmm. dropped. Yeah. Fallout yeah. we mentioned. Uh, I, I God, I could go on and on, and then, but yeah. we're today we're gonna go over, we're gonna watch Godzilla versus Kong, mm. not versus Godzilla X Kong, the the yeah. the the, 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 oh. the team up, the matchup, the, the bromance, mashup. the bad yeah. boys, oh. the mashup we all didn't need, but it's here anyway. And then we're gonna talk about Furiosa, the Mad Max yes. saga. I'm excited about that. Uh, we didn't know George Miller was oh. back. No. Uh, we'll talk about that, and then we're gonna talk about uh, the incredible GTA Six. Uh, trailer that dropped well, well leaked. leaked first <laughs> leaked. Then, yes. then 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 dropped yeah. um dropped dropped probably sooner <laughs> than they wanted but here we have mm-hmm. it anyway um or that's what they said and today like... we uh <laughs> we, i got pagan with us who's always with us every week thank you pagan uh thank who you. helps run our show stephanie who's always with us every week lovely yes, stephanie the... is joining us and we have a special guest dan morris who <gasps> welcome dan oh hi uh dan <laughs> Dan, I, I want you to talk about uh, Dan's a contributor for the website, uh, and more than that, he kind of helps and does a lot of. The, we don't even give you a title; it's so complicated. All the things you do, it really um, is. master of master of all things, um, I serve none. Yeah, master of <laughs> master of everything serves no one. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want you. We you came up with this incredible idea. Godzilla Week is happening right now on Couch Soup, and uh, you were like, "Listen." Minus one's coming out. Monarch Legacy of Monsters is 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 going on right now. Uh, did you even did you have like weird like ISP and knew that the God Godzilla versus or X Kong trailer was going to drop too? I mean, like like you just timed it perfectly and you're like, we're going to do Godzilla Week. You planned this like a week ago and we're implementing it. Break us down. Like, what is going on for Godzilla Week on Couch Soup? Yes, that. All of yes. That. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. To give credit where credit's due, I'm not the only father of this baby, and that's uh, Tom, Tom Richards, and a fellow contributor on CouchSoup as well. Uh, this been. actually spawned off of us doing Monarch, the Monarch Files, the podcast yeah. about the new Monarch Legacy of Monsters uh, Apple Plus show. Uh, we had a guest on our show, Alex McCumbers, a friend of us show. And we were just talking about Godzilla and how there's so much going on because we were saying, you know, like Godzilla fans are eating good right now. There's a new TV sure. series. There's a new movie coming. We know Godzilla across X Kong is coming and there was new Godzilla shorts were coming out of Japan. Like these really cool animated shorts that are Ooh. kind of like official canon things. So there's just a bunch of Godzilla content. And it was basically just this idea that we got to capitalize on this. So it, yeah. again, to credit to Tom, this is mostly his uh, orchestration of putting things together and him and I just kind of like, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. And then we just kind of threw it all at you. Um, we were you like, did. okay, let's make this a week long thing where we just pump out Godzilla content. And then sure enough, the Godzilla 
Kong trailer comes up and we're like, ah, icing on the cake. Right. Sprinkled icing. But what I love about it is you guys, you guys are going deep. Like there's even like, there's an article. Listen, there's an article that came out yesterday that no one is asking for. And yet someone decided to write an article on the, what is it? The 20, uh, 2001, which, which Godzilla, the, the, the bad the one. 1998 the 1998 Tristar Godzilla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the one that no one yet mentions really cares about mm-hmm. the Matthew Broderick, but but it's about the 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 score the musical score for that movie and how it was Ooh. how it jammed. Uh, so it's it's a it's a look back at I don't even remember like Rage Against the Machine was on that the um, Puff Daddy tie-in <laughs> song with uh, oh my God. Jim, totally. Uh, I'm blanking on the name, but basically it was like like the most public largest use of a sample of somebody's music that the guy who made the music was part of. And he allowed Puff Diddy to do it. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, oh but gosh. that sounds amazing. Um, yeah, so like every week, Jimmy we're going to, or you, sorry, Brandy. every day there's going to be a new Godzilla article coming out this week mm-hmm. for Godzilla Week, as well as uh, Monarch, um, the Monarch podcast, Monarch Files, yep. uh, drops today at two o'clock. So mm-hmm. if you're, if you're, when this ends, hang out for an hour and then Monarch Legacy will drop. Uh, or you can go listen to it right now as a podcast. Um, wherever you listen to podcast, Monarch Legacy, which were Dan, Lily, um, I why am I blanking? Tom and Brandy. Brand, oh yeah, Brandy. <laughs> that is that. The, who am I missing? The, our friend Alex joins Alex, us for the yeah, show yeah. too. Um, are breaking down that show, so it's pretty awesome. Godzilla Week is here. Go check it out. And because of Godzilla Week, we have to watch. I'm going to roll right into this. We have to mm. watch the Godzilla X Kong, uh, the New Empire trailer. Um, we have yeah. to. I mean, it's here. I'm, <laughs> listen, I'll, I'll, we while you while we all get away? set up, I'll just give you the quick log. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's shiny. Uh, it's just. Can I watch Furiosa it. instead? Yeah. Well, we're gonna the get Planet there. of the Apes. Um, uh, let's see. The... I mean, it's very similar to Planet of the Apes. So <laughs> it is. <laughs> Here's the log line: the epic battle continues. Does it though? Legendary oh. picture, cinematic monster verse that that failed but is back uh follows up the explosive showdown of godzilla versus kong with an all-new adventure that pits the almighty kong that's right team kong and the fearsome godzilla against the colossal undiscovered hidden hidden undiscovered threat hidden within our world challenging their very existence and our own okay hmm. uh God- godzilla x kong the new empire delves further into the histories of these titans and their origins as well as the mysteries of skull island and beyond while uncovering the mythic battle that helped forge these extraordinary beings and tied them to humankind forever. I mean, that feels like that feels like someone's really like going really like heady on this when I feel like it's lesser than this. But let's watch the trailer and 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 maybe decide. Okay. Hmm. Like, maybe we okay. don't. I don't know. All right, fine. Okay. Has <laughs> everybody get their trailer loaded up? Great. Okay. I'm gonna press oh, like yeah. in. Yes. Well, I'm just making sure. Okay. Three, two. One play. The long green screen first. Uh, it's the long green screen. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Oh, the, I mean, it's pretty. Oh, no, Pelman hit. Mm. Oh, there, it is. there we go. It's like Monty Python. Oh. Okay. For most of human civilization. Oh. I mean, it's. We believe. That's that pretty. It only exists. On the surface of our planet. Mm-hmm. Pyramids. Because Kong climbs out of the ground. Oh my god. Uh oh. He's transformed. Uh, I don't like the noise. Oh, it's. Wow, <laughs> Bumblebee! <laughs> that totally. The, I thought that too. <laughs> Come on. Wow. I swear. What are you doing down there, Bumblebee? Oh, hello. We upside down this or world right side up? Oh, that's how yeah. it works. I possibly imagine. I know. Uh <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Oh. What? Oh. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Who the? That axe oh. is pretty dope. That? I can't oh, look at those little eyes. That's not Kong. Little buddy. Could have done oh. This. More. Oh my god. Stuff. There's a lot of them. Oh, 
somebody's more angry. Ah. Who's she? Run, Kong, run. They come with a little girl. This on his own. She yeah. was in the last movie. He won't oh, be alone. Ah. Oh. That is returning character from uh, first Godzilla. I think Kong. Look at him. him. He's so cute and pink. Are we so short? <laughs> okay. Um. Alright, alright. There's like an evil Kong. Oh, and now we're on a beach? Okay. Well, okay. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> Avengers Assemble. What is happening right now? Why is the running scene is a bit ridiculous. It's so is that silly. A <laughs> I'm sorry, but this... this is that he, he looks like Boots. Like, where's Dora? Where's Dora the Explorer? Well, so that what was the, the world thing that did I just watch? I... <laughs> um, can I get that? What is it? Two minutes back? How long no, was that? No, <laughs> of course not. It's ingrained in your in your minutes, memory Stephanie. forever. Oh God! Um, all right, guys. Wow. Witness the rise of a new empire. Godzilla x Kong only in theaters in 2024. What did you guys think of the monster bromance that's happening here? Stupid. Who wants Someone to start? I think Crow. Oh yeah, somebody was... and somebody finance that. What's the budget on that? Hold on, we gotta. Find I mean, out. we'll, I we'll get into out. that. We'll get into that. The first yeah, one made cause... a lot of money, so, so as, I was gonna oh. say those movies have been very successful. So I How... think like it, it feeds a particular purpose, right? Um... Like it does what it says in the tin. It's just there for like entertainment purposes, like pure, <laughs> yeah. like just you know, like you won't go into this like not being a fan already if you know what i mean like if you're not a fan you're probably not going to see this but for the fans they will because it just serves a purpose i feel like it's almost like fan service in a way it's like it's just giving you more of probably what you want i hope it's not what you want <laughs> like i hope this film isn't that isn't it um but whatever. i can tell you like, right now I'm Peyton, as a fan it's not <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm not going to see it. I'm not a big not... fan of, like, either. No, like... I mean, I've seen Kong, and I enjoyed, like, I think it was Peter Jackson's one. Am I right, Dan? Um, that one's great. Yeah. I think oh, that yeah. That That's really a great liked. one. The one with Jack Black. Other than that, I, yeah. I don't... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a Same. big fan. Um, Godzilla, I've never really been a fan of. Although, <laughs> the more, like, the older I'm getting, and, like, the more I learn about Godzilla and, like, the meaning and metaphor behind it and everything, I really really do enjoy and i think that i would like to see the new film that's come out minus one but this i'm a pass mm. thank you but he's pretty in pink he is so. i want to share something about this concept real quick one of my favorite things that i've seen come out in the last couple of days is a meme that somebody made that said godzilla movies in the 20th century and there was like meaningful and prolific movies with a screenshot of the original Godzilla. And then next to it was a shot from Godzilla versus Megalon where he's sliding on his tail and it says goofy, wacky monster go boom. <laughs> and then it says Godzilla in the 21st century. Mm. And it's a picture of Godzilla minus one. And it says meaningful and prolific Godzilla movie. And then next to it is a shot of Godzilla and Kong running. Yeah. And it yeah. says big monsters go boom. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's pretty much yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um just, yeah there's there's a lot happening in this i mean you know what the colors are pretty yeah you i know? think my brother's a perfect phrase for this it's chewing gum for the eyes it's like that mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's oh that's a great phrase like. yeah so i have a lot yeah. of insight on this trailer but i also can tell you that i'm not a fan of where where this movies are going but i'm still going to watch the hell out of it that's for sure just because i'm a godzilla so fan i'm gonna pay them your money <laughs> All right. that's gonna happen yeah Mm -hmm. but... <laughs> I yeah, just can't I've... get over the yeah. baby Kong. He looks like he looks like he popped out of Dora the Explorer. Like Boots is on steroids, and I mean he's cute, but like he's also kind of creepy. Like if you stared at me like a little too long, it'd be like you okay? Like <laughs> we good? I almost feel like that's a juxtaposition because he's not a Kong per se. He's actually more of what the bad guy monkey is yeah uh, yeah the one with the red on the face completely yeah. different breed. like he does not look like a gorilla but he mm -hmm. is like mm -hmm. he clearly yeah. is a gorilla but his coloring is different um 
Or a He's more orangutan esque. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he is. Yeah. So the I main heard. bad guy in this, his name is Scar King. That's the other monkey. His oh, name okay. is Scar oh. King. I was gonna okay. ask. I where Mufasa. did this other giant monkey Sorry. come from? He's Mufasa. completely new. <laughs> Mufasa. Say it again. Mufasa. Um, he's, he's new. I have to say though, right? He's not the biggest part of the canon, like oh, Godzilla. Okay. Okay. He's not oh, part of. Oh, well, yeah. he's just brand new. Um, what are the people doing? Yeah, he doesn't exist in any previous. Like, what are the people doing? Trying to what help you, Tom. No, why? Fucking what stay you? out of it. There's giant monsters. How are they gonna Tom help? Doesn't need your help. <laughs> Who are you? You big weirdos! Like, stay out They've of it. Have empire. you watched any of the other movies? No, she no. Hasn't. Yeah, they, they like no, to I stick themselves thought. where they don't belong. Yeah, yeah. Kinda like, stop that's kind of like, like in weird, dangerous playing with fire. You know the whole world that exists well, that you don't know about? Uh, Fucking leave it there. Oh my god, what is wrong with people? <laughs> Just let them let them go. Let nature be nature. If they want to fight, yeah. let them fight, it out, man. Jeez. Well, yeah, and then but but the problem is is when they fight it out, people are collateral. So I, I think yeah. what's interesting, I think Monarch I mean, is taking an interesting play. Pl well, no, they can save lives by understanding when it's going to happen, right? Like or or what's going on, right? Like so we can mm -hmm. evacuate cities or right? Like Monarch, I think that's what the show is taking. Um, right, is, is diving into interestingly. Which is saying like, hey, these these I think they call it like G Day events, like these Godzilla Day that happened that killed like tons of people in San Francisco, like that could have been avoided, right? If we knew mm -hmm. more about what was going on. So it's sort of their meddling is trying to help better understand like how do we stop people like thousands and thousands of people dying in these Titans clash, which is interesting. But I don't think that this movie is going to dive into that 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 yeah. deep. But uh, maybe I don't. Know. I don't yeah, it's I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you've got an Avengers moment going on, so it's like superheroes. Like, there's. Yeah. I mean, there is definitely and... a deeper narrative going on, especially because of Monarch. Like, this is all part of the same universe, and they're trying to tie everything in together. And we talk about this on Monarch Files, where we're trying to see where that show is leading, because it's eventually going to tie into King of the Monsters and or Godzilla versus Kong. <clears throat> and yeah. it, there's a lot of that that you were talking about drew and uh king of the monsters where monarch is trying to understand the monsters to know when to avoid them or prevent a g-day event and the the hmm. godzilla versus kong movies kind of get away from that a little bit because it's more about like hey now godzilla and kong are here cool like and it's it's more about just animal instincts and alphas like godzilla is trying to be the, the king of the monsters and kong opposes him yeah yeah, uh, the Kong, Godzilla and Kong movies are just batshit crazy for fun. <laughs> well, which is fine. I mean, I think even people in the chat is like, I can enjoy a, a dumb, fun movie, right? Yeah, and they're popcorn fun. movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's great. Mm -hmm. And like, go see a dumb, fun movie, big, loud. Go see it in TH or, uh, you know, IMAX. I, I doubt this will be an IMAX. I mean, maybe it will. But we watched Godzilla like... versus Kong in IMAX when it came out. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. yeah. It was I pretty mean, cool. Interestingly enough. Yeah. I mean, like, the louder, the bigger, the better. I bet this looks great, right? And it, it like, the trailer looks like you guys said, it looks pretty, right? Which is mm -hmm. kind of what you want. You want a pretty monster film, uh, which is going to kind of deliver on that. I agree. It's listen that in shot. Like I literally laughed out loud. When, in the <laughs> it's when the cheesy. Everybody's yeah, like, been mocking yeah. that shot. That, yeah, that it, it, is, it is. like to to even put that in the trailer was like I feel like a decisive moment. Be like, do we put this in the trailer? This is kind of <laughs> dumb. Mm -hmm. Let there was a theory though yeah. behind him um, you know? Kong's robot hand. I, I heard an interesting theory behind him having a robot hand. He met with Bumblebee. Is it going to so tie into Furiosa's robot hand? Because if it does, no. then oh. <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah, been a cool crossover. Oh. We didn't know we needed. <laughs> I mean, maybe yeah. it does. Are they both WB? And, and a Taylor Joy shows up. Let me show you how to make a robot hand, yeah, okay? Like, listen, oh, man. Hey, you know, Kong, hey, you know? I would listen. I would take that TED talk. I would, yeah, like, okay. I would take that TED talk. Uh, all right, let's. that's enough of Godzilla vs. Kong. I mean, like, listen, the first, uh, or Godzilla x Kong, I'll never get over the verses, uh, but um, the first one made, or I guess not the first one, but Godzilla v. Kong made $100 million in the U.S., almost $400 million overseas. I think it's safe to say this movie probably isn't for us, like as, and I mean us in, it's for in me. the, yeah, in it's the for U.S., that. right? It's for like a small, <laughs> it's for a small market of people who are into that shit in the U.S., and then the rest of the global the less the rest of the world is super into this kind of shit so uh, i need to them, be here to represent them have those cake. people especially yeah. when we watch you guys sitting here and especially pagan and steph are all like ooh ah ooh overall like the the sappy whatever goofy hey, movies hey, but no big monsters you? smash rah. yeah yeah we'll let's take go high, we need our highbrow <laughs> oppenheimers and barbies uh, okay dan um let us yes, have this. maybe this we is do. what they were going um, for then watch godzilla minus one the barbie crowd yeah 
I feel like they're really trying I to think re- so. yeah, honestly they, probably they, they realize I how think powerful there is the Barbie actually the crowd is yeah canon reasons not gonna lie it's very pink, cute though there's, no, Danny. There's Mark, there. let, us have our, let us have our Bobby <laughs> moment. All right. Damn it. As um, Crow Seven Blah said, it's uh, I think it was Crow Seven Blah said um, Barbzilla. Barbzilla. Yeah, I've been seeing that Barbie thing a lot. <laughs> yeah. The Barbzilla. Yeah. Yeah. We just need Barbie showing up like, hey, Zilla, how are you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right guys uh well with minus one at like 98 percent rotten tomatoes i doubt this will reach its heights just based on the trailer but who, here's hoping that godzilla x kong the new empire if you want highbrow godzilla see minus one if you want popcorn in your eyeballs godzilla watch godzilla mm. versus kong there you go okay. from the mouth of the godzilla on couch soup godzilla expert dan yes. is bringing it to you hot take <laughs> um all right let's 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 wash our let's uh you know we need a palate cleanser and Whoa. i think Fur- furios is going to be that um let's let's cue that up furios uh, a mad max saga um, i'm so excited i'm high if you guys I if you're one of the few people who haven't seen Matt um, oh, Fury Road, oh. Mad Max Fury Road. I, what the I fuck are you doing? I love that movie. It's one of my <laughs> go, favorite go, films. Stop what you're doing. Go watch that After film. the stream. After yeah. the stream. It's incredible. You know what? Listen, <laughs> go watch it right now. It's better than whatever we're okay. doing. The um, truth. It's a piece of art. Um, it is. Directed by George Miller, um, who's famous for all of the Mad Max films um, in, in yeah. the canon, the, the Mel Gibson ones, which actually go watch. Them. They're awesome. Um, the logline for this, as the world fell, young Furiosa snatched from the gr- green place of many mothers and falls into the hands of great biker horde led by the warlord Dementus. Sweeping through the wasteland, they come across the citadel presided over by the Immortan Joe. While two tyrants war for dominance, Furiosa must survive many trials as she puts together the means to find her way home. Uh, starring Anna Taylor Joy, Chris Hemsworth, an incredible looking Chris Hemsworth, by the way, Alia Brown, and Tom Burke. Um, hmm. Furiosa comes out in 2024 only in theaters. Ooh. Let's roll the tape. Let's do it. I'm pressing play in three, two, one, play. Oh, I'm so hyped for this. Oh, it already have me. Look I at love that, that style. color. Wow. Oh, I love the coloring in this. <laughs> <laughs> Promise me you'll find your way home. Oh, no. What is that? It's the same yourself. universe. So, yeah, she could totally teach Kong. Give me this promise. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, nice. <laughs> 45 years. Treatment. Awesome. Man, that's Ooh. so fucking cool. God, that's such a beautiful wide shot. Yeah. Ooh. When, oh when have you seen gosh. a trailer that does a tight, like a title, like a title? I love scroll? this. It's like Star Wars is going on right now. It is. This is awesome. So <laughs> this is her odyssey. <laughs> oh. There it is. Ooh. <gasps> Oh no. The fuck? You look different, like sir. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh! Start your engines! Start your engines! That's amazing. Oh, yes. That voice! Oh, boys. Boom. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. The most bonkers action. Oh my gosh. <laughs> dude. Oh, oh. Yes. He's on fire. That dude is on fire. Oh shit. Awesome. He's there. Oh my gosh. I'm serious. Yes. The darkest of oh. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh. Question is. Oh shit! Oh. oh my god. Yeah, she does. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> does she? Ready to go it's see like, that in IMAX. <laughs> right? Wow. Holy oh shit. Oh my god. Wow. That's an incredible trailer. 
Um, wow. I mean, yeah, slaps. like, well, yeah, that that jam. <laughs> that's a that's a trailer. That's how you do a trailer. People take notes. That check, is. check the box. So scrolling um, text. Yeah, that, right? that takes I, the cake for that favorite trailer. Was fucking that's unreal. Wow, the little scrolling text at the beginning with the wide shot, and they're just moving off into the distance while yes. the text is coming forward. That is so well oh my thought God. out. That incredible yes. wide shot, like so George cool. Miller does those so well. Yeah. He does. He just does. Brilliant. Oh like, my God. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, all right. I mean, we're all we're all we're all gleaming about this. I mean, what do I don't even think we need to talk about it. We're like, okay, we're good. Yeah, we're yeah, sold. we're good. We're yeah, seeing we're, it. Let's go. Like, what else do you want to say about this? Like, let's go. What, what you... Unless somebody can give me a good like hot take of what PJ would say. Hundred percent watered like tomatoes. Ten out of yeah. ten. I... All right, all right. Well, all right. I don't let me, know. Let I'm... me pose a few counterpoints. Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead, Megan. Yeah. Let, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Like I look. I think it looks amazing. I think it looks absolutely incredible. I'm s still skeptical because I think the first one was so good. Okay. Just because, like, I like, mm -hmm. can this do it? Can this live up to the same hype? I am unsure why Chris Hemsworth has like such an obvious fake nose, but at the same time, I think maybe that's just because I've been like I've seen Chris Hemsworth for the last however many years, and now I know <coughs> he's got a fake nose in this. So maybe it's just that. But I'm kind of like, oh, you could have. Is the casting right here? Like, I'm just wondering so much about their casting choices in this film i felt every single casting choice was right in the first film mad max fury road for furiosa i'm still on the fence i'm still like i would rather see them ace this and i'm like hopeful cautiously optimistic if you will but i'm just so cautious because everything about the casting in the first film was absolutely incredible so i'm just tentative i don't know if I see Anna Taylor Joy that way, I think Chris Hemsworth would pull it off acting wise. I just feel like the prosthetics throws me off because it it almost brings me f like brings me fourth wall, you know, like it kind of breaks the fourth wall for me a little bit. But it's something that I'll just have to get over. I don't know. Also, I think that there's quite a lot of um, actors that are returning from the first film that were just mm -hmm. like the secondary ca characters, not the main characters. Although I think mm -hmm. the main characters do have cameos yeah. as far as I know because they're listed on the IMDb. So either they're going to do flashbacks or they're probably going to do cameos. Um, so I'm excited for that. But the stunts look so good, though. And the, like, coloring oh, and shit looks so yeah. amazing. But yeah, that's where my stance is. Well, I'm well, cautiously well, optimistic for this, but I don't know can it live up to the same hype as Fury Road. Yeah, well, let me let me piggyback mm -hmm. on that. I mean, and, and everybody can and talk about that. Because I think what part, that what to your point, what made Fury, Fury Road so so surprisingly good other than like obviously the great art direction and characters and, and stuff like that was it was pretty batshit crazy right yeah. like it it, mm -hmm. it was like it surprised us with like mm. the the world building right like from the guy like spray painting his face silver before he goes into battle or about right. to die mm -hmm. or like the insane car and bike stunts that we had never seen before like anything like that like people leaping on poles and explosions and then like you know the weird gangs like the weird characters like you know from mm -hmm. Morton Joe to the other guy that like you know has that weird little sidekick on his like sidecar I mean right. it was just so weird gorgeous you know like it was yeah like and that kind of i think blew our minds a little bit and on top of that the action can he surprise us again like that i think is your point peg and like yes. can he mm -hmm. bring that are, are, are we going in with the expectation already now versus before that expectation wasn't there so the film i feel like was elevated to a status right. because of that like we hadn't seen anything like that before we're here mm -hmm. this feels like like almost like fury road definitely extended so right. you know like or should we go in with the expectation of something as bonkers or should we lessen our expectations to your point I, i'd be interested what you guys think yeah i don't know what to think because like for me yeah, like i'm in the same boat like that first one nothing's ever gonna top that like or the first one that i saw <laughs> you know mad max fury road like nothing's ever gonna top that um I don't know and I'm like I'm confused a little bit like it's interesting I, this was not something that was on my radar this was something like Chris Hemsworth posted something the other day and I was like oh is that a joke like you know is he just like <laughs> playing pretend 
And then I saw like the tags and I was like going through and I was like, no, this is real. And then they dropped this and I was like, oh, okay, like <laughs> this is cool. I don't know. Like the colors there, the editing or not editing, um, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Stunts, <Yeah. laughs> um, you know, are there. There's just a weird layer. I don't know. Like there's nice Christmas. But there's some. I don't, I don't even want to call it like two dimensional quality, but there's some shots where I'm like, oh, that's a blue green screen. Like there's stuff that's like very noticeable. And I feel like oh, in the really? other one, okay, to me, like I never noticed any of that kind of stuff. Um, I think but there's the like a one... shot like at like the 153. Mark. Have, like... That's a good example. But I thought the first Fury Row was completely like real action and like no, like very minimal CGI or. Screen. That's what I. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was gonna say. I well, it was a perfect so. combination. It was of more practical, practical and CGI. So there'd be a practical mm-hmm. stunt that with the big, but oh. then they'd CGI in more cars around it, mm-hmm. right? Like so, like it mm-hmm. was sort of like this combination of like what you're seeing, like the big thing you're seeing in the forefront is is practical, like that explosion is real. But then, mm-hmm. like when you add in like what, the, but they couldn't have all those other cars next to that stunt because then you add more problems. So then they would CG in the cars back yeah. on the road right so they would film the cars mm. practical but then mm-hmm. take them out and then put them back in after the stunt happened so it was sort of like a, this combination like cg was used in a in a way to enhance the to practicality enhance the i guess one, yeah. it, 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 mm-hmm. it, right Steph, yeah. is this the yeah. shot that you're talking yeah this about? feels very it's on, it's on the uh, oh i don't I have v2 open but i it's at mm-hmm. 153 it's when they're like on the it's road it's like a big watch yeah like they're it's, it's yes. wide and they're on the yeah. road. See, I actually think all of that is practical. It's kind of like that motorcycle chariot. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like all of that yeah, is I actually don't know. practical. It's very I think weird. it's whatever color grading they've put on here that makes it like really 2D contrast because yeah. the sky is so, so blue it's and the sand is practically so, so orange. But, yeah, so it's like, I think it's whatever color yeah. grading it is, but I do think that is practical because I feel like there would be no need to put CGI here. The, the camera is obviously yeah. rigged on a, on, a, on a rig in front of this rider, mm-hmm. so there wouldn't be any need to like fill in the background they can purposely do all that so i don't know i don't know i think maybe to your point stephanie i think there's probably less green screen than you think but i think it's edited in a way like the color grading is done in a way that it almost feels false it doesn't feel right Mm -hmm. yeah there's a lot of them and it feels more like a video game to me like it doesn't feel like i don't know there's just something about the movie and even like the very last shot of her with her really bad shaped head um yes i would agree that shot it, does not look good I actually like think that's very fake shot in the ep- like in the so I, I yeah agree it too. is that that hero yeah. shot of her pulling the mask off doesn't look great for some reason no, no. I don't think it's, it's, it's a weird hair. choice they, for a hero the animation shot for her arm as well i don't think it looks uh, arm, good either yeah it looks mm-hmm. kind of weirdly like it's not quite done yet. Or so there's a yet. lot of weird cg like i don't know like there is to me like i'd have to go through and just really see but like even just sliding through it yeah i don't know like the colors there the casting's there i don't know like it's it's interesting and i'm confused too when i like imdb chris is listed as a character named dementis yeah but on google he's listed as Immortan Joe. Oh, <laughs> I don't think it's, I don't think, it's so... I think they've probably got the same actor. No. Oh, no, oh yeah, that's Immortan Joe's wrong. in the trailer. There, there's a shot yeah, of Immortan yeah. Joe and right. there is. Hemsworth's character yeah. like, staring at each other, so they're not the same. Not gonna lie, I thought that Hemsworth. I thought in that shot Hemsworth because I saw the still of that when I was before like we even watched all of this today. And I was like, oh, I didn't know you and McGregor is in this. Like, uh. <laughs> so you looked like you and McGregor instead of. Chris oh really? Instead of to me, but if Henry, if Ewan McGregor put on like 150 pounds of muscle, yeah, muscle, yeah, you know, I think he looks good in this, and I'm I like I'm I like that he's got his accent back. The girl's interesting. I wonder who uh-huh. she is. <laughs> yeah, is she gonna be like I'm a potential bride for Immortan Joe and Furious is gonna stop yeah. it? Like I don't know. Is she? Is she might be one yeah. of the future one of the one mothers of the brides yeah. that comes later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. probably. Um, yeah uh, i mean i'm i'm i mean yeah I, I think listen this is more fury road which i like mm-hmm. at the end of fury road i wanted more fury road right yeah, which is mm-hmm. great like i definitely it definitely checks that fucking box and i'm here for it like i will watch more of extended fury road keep it coming 
but I, I I feel you. It's sort of like there's this little guy, right? Like that, you know, the guitar guy with the flame from the first yeah. one. Like, I love like, him shoots, so like, much. He's he's in yeah. the back of my head saying like, mm-hmm. should have this been should should this have been different, right? Like, because mm-hmm. every Mad Max in the previous Mad Max was kind of like That's kind of different. different. Like it had a different sort of vibe, right? Like it was mm-hmm. all in the world of Mad Max, but like. It was a different but it's thing. Very different. And I wonder, mm-hmm. like, it's still got a Morton Joe. It still feels like you're on Fury Road again. Like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it, it's like the, another, like, ex- I, I'm, I'm a little, like, sort of like, is this a copy paste, but, but a prequel, right? Like, it, it kind of right. feels like the same movie again, which I guess is mm-hmm. okay. I don't know. I'm, 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 I, we're, listen, I, I'm going to work this. The trailer is incredible. This looks amazing. I'm going to watch the shit out of mm-hmm, this. I, I'm nitpicking at this point, Same. right? Like, you know, I'm, I'm completely nitpicking. <laughs> um, so don't think I'm shitting on this. I just, I wonder if this is the, was the best way to go, right? Like the next thing to see, right? Okay. Maybe it was. Interesting. I don't know. Yeah. If I can weigh in at all, I was okay. going to say I'm yeah. all aboard on the idea of just more Fury Road. I just give it to me, pump it in my veins, you know, shoot it in my eyeballs. I'll take all the Fury Road I can get because I absolutely love that movie. And just this is exactly what this looks like is more Fury Road and I'm not even worried about anything else beyond that. As long as it gives the same kind of feel and action and intensity mm-hmm. and brutality and just it looks fantastic. Uh, and I, I'm coming at it from this angle of like Pagan's got all these apprehensions because she's looking at all these real world elements of the movie. And I'm not I'm not even thinking about the actors. I'm not even thinking about the characters. I don't care about Chris Hemsworth's fake nose. I think he looks stupid, but cool, stupid. Yeah, I sure. think Furiosa looks cool, but stupid. It's like Steph said, it looks like a video game. And to me, it looks fucking awesome because of it. I don't know if I should have sworn, but I'm going to do it anyway. That's fine. It you can swear here. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. Mm-hmm. But I like actually I like I was gonna say in contrast I like that shot of Furiosa because to me it kind of does look like a video game shot, and it adds that extra level of style that kind of separates it from a movie almost like Sin City did, did, where it's like okay I know this is a movie but agree. it doesn't really look like a movie, it gives yeah, it a yeah. different flair, yeah, and I know there was a so. thing where Fury Row was special because it was edited by um, oh, a queen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll forget it. Oh, I lost the information. What's the director's name? Oh my god, I George Miller. Brain George Hart. Miller. George Miller's wife. The there we go. It's George mm-hmm. Miller's wife edited it, and she had never edited a film in her life before. Get out of town. And yeah. she Margaret, killed it. Margaret <laughs> yeah. What? She edited that, mm-hmm. and she's never edited before. What the right. Heck? Did she mm-hmm. do? She edited. She Fury killed Rose. it. Or... She killed it. What the fuck? Yeah. Amazing. Listen, you can do it just about anything on, on she need enough an LSD. Listen, you can yeah. just crank through a good edit, like an, a little bit. What was great about that though is that's, that's probably why, like, what added to make it so amazing is because anything that you learn about editing through like working in the industry or like that you learn at school or something like that, she probably didn't even have. So she wasn't even thinking like, oh, you can't do that or like you, she you shouldn't do that. She'd be like, this was fucking good. Uh, I'm gonna put that like that. I think that's cool. I like that. Nice fact. So Thank she you. has edited other stuff, but um, she edited Happy Feet. She um, was an editor on Babe, Pig in the Big City, Pig in the City. Um, <laughs> what? A, that what? takes Neither a crown for Margaret. Our, 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 our action like, epics. What? Yeah, a, yeah, right. What a progression. She's okay, edited so. a lot of fun stuff. Yeah. So she's never yeah. edited an action film before. Oh, sorry. Yes. You're yeah. Right. No. Yeah. And she That's, won the Oscar. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Very cool. She did. I yeah. I mean, I'm here for it. There's a lot of case studies around like the editing and, and the shots mm-hmm. shots as well on Fury Road and it looks yeah. like um it looks like I just want they're... I want backstory on Guitar Flame Man in this movie. Give me a whole <laughs> sub story about Guitar just... Flame Man and how he became yeah, Guitar Flame Man. He's just hanging off the rig, just yeah. jamming. Yeah. There's a kid that somewhere guy, and someone oh hands him God. a guitar. There's... And we just know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. She's Lord. There's a lot of oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot, like all of the other characters were so much fun in the previous film like all the like the mini bosses as well like it definitely feels like a video game for mm-hmm. sure now that you think about it more like there's like mini mm-hmm. bosses in the first film oh the fucking, yeah the scene in the first all film kids. where they flip the mm-hmm. truck stop it's so mm-hmm. good mm-hmm. I'm like I don't know mm-hmm. how you can mm-hmm. I don't know how you could beat that what are you gonna do like what are you gonna there is do? a Mad Max video game and it's fun so Yes, uh, yeah, I haven't seen it. I haven't uh, played it, but I've, I've seen a bit of it. Yeah. 
looks good looks fun it's good yeah yeah it is interesting and and what do you guys think i mean you know uh the mad max saga of it all right like mm-hmm. obviously mad max might may make a cameo some at some point in this I, doubtful maybe i don't know I'm not he's listed quite sure. in the credits so but, but uh, i think that maybe it could be either a flash forward or some kind of flash something like he's definitely list, listed in the credits yeah. as, mm-hmm. as maybe it mad opens max. on current mad max and then jumps back and be like we gotta be- start at the beginning yeah, so you know how we got same. here I think, kind of maybe. Like that. Yeah. I think even maybe that they weren't even involved in the this i think maybe they're just using clips from the first film which is why they're crediting them in this one like i think maybe that's mm-hmm. probably like yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it is it is interesting like you know like don't get me wrong furiosa was an incredible character in fury road um <sighs> you know and but, but this is this serious. is the uh, like a mad max world right and they're con- mm-hmm. obviously they didn't want to make a movie not called mad max they had to put a mad max saga in here mm-hmm. so it's a little like okay what are we you know it, it just it's a little convoluted um but a that's little fun. bit yeah, it makes it sound like there's more just to come. calling it furiosa mm-hmm. right yeah yeah um mm-hmm. yeah i don't know I, I, listen i think we're all kind of um on in the same boat Sold. here we're, we're gonna see this um i mm-hmm. think we do have questions if george miller can replicate that success um mm-hmm. is is this the beyond the thunderdome of his of his new tri- of his new trilogy um, which yeah. if, if you're not familiar with the old ones was where like the the the, the third one of the of his older like trilogy just, where it kind of jumped the shark a bit it was a little yeah. it was a little weird um just, but but lo- we love it we love it stop. yet um mm-hmm. great no, no absolutely are. absolutely but this one was just yeah it got a little silly i guess got a they, little they silly. should they um, should fix that last shot um so they don't have another henry cavill um cgi out the beard because it's really given me a lot of that and i'm like you know she has long beautiful hair in real life so i'm sure it was like we're not cutting <laughs> you know, you're not cutting my hair. So it's so interesting. No, that, like, you don't think so. I don't think so. Well, I think Charlize cut hers. Oh, where are you gonna say? Like, yeah, yeah but, but Anya, though, like, right? she still has long hair right now. So I know it's, <laughs> oh, it's, it's such a, yeah, it's a, she did. Such a fine line. Well, I mean, they filmed they, this. How they long? Have to long still work, you know. Like they have to still like continue doing other jobs and stuff. I don't know. I just think like mm-hmm. bald. Yeah, caps but I mean and Natalie Portman. So she could have a wig. Went, went bald for V for Vendetta. Yeah, that's what I'm well. saying. Like, I yeah. think, like it's, it's like a lot of actresses of Demi Moore did it for yeah. um, G.I. I Jane. Forget the army film she did. Uh, G.I. Jane. Thank you. Yeah, I mean I, it's not unprecedented. I think yeah. Uh, no, it's yeah, not. I, but I yeah, she, she. Yeah. It would be cool. It she kept her hair long. She got married recently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. It would be cool. That's a good insight. Like actually shave her head or cut her. But I don't know. I don't know. I just mm-hmm. have reservations about her as Furiosa in general. I think she's. I don't know. Uh, there's something to. Why is that though? I, I have no history with this actress, so I don't know <gasps> why you would be on a like unsure of her playing uh, the character. Qu- Queen's Gambit. Um, Go watch the Queen's she's Gambit. She's very. Now. Yeah. Um, she comes across <laughs> almost fragile. You know? Like I feel like she comes across. That just mm-hmm. that she's just typecast in a way, right? She's probably just typecast all the in a way better for her very... to play the character. I think yeah. then. She's like she's quite so. elegant and stuff. Because then you were gonna see her growth going mm-hmm. from fragile to tough and strong. Yeah, I'd like to see. I'd like to see that in this. And there's obviously clips in this for, for in the trailer that earlier like indicates like that's just her running away, and she looks almost like a teenager. Like she looks like mm-hmm. eighteen or nineteen. Um, so I don't know what age she is in this mm-hmm. film, mm-hmm. but she's such a bad like Charlize Theron's character is such a badass in Fury Road, that I would be. Yeah, I'm questioning how she gets there from this and it's not because An- anya taylor joy can't act because she's wonderful she's fucking incredible she's probably like the epitome of a beautiful human being but i just feel like i don't know if i would have cast her for this it's an interesting casting choice i'd be interested to see how that plays out yeah I, that's a fair criticism i mean it's tough like charlie's worked real hard to become like an action star like she did a lot mm-hmm. of like previous films yeah, as an did, action yeah. sort of like character to before fury road so um so yeah i i agree anna taylor joy hasn't done anything quite this at this level from an to be to to helm an action movie right it kind of so she right. definitely def, definitely isn't that the move point, though that like, is the move absolutely cast people who you wouldn't typically expect to play like when uh, michael keaton got cast as batman nobody wanted that nobody expected it and he fucking lo- crushed it true <laughs> No, very true. Yeah, I mean that's an interesting example. I mean, Michael Keaton does have to put on a giant suit that makes him look like he has muscles. True. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so I mean, like, so yeah, no, I hear you. But I mean, you're not gonna ca- like, you know, you cast Crims Hemsworth as like 
this character because he's mm-hmm. jacked and looks mm-hmm. like he would rock uh, an apocalypse, right? Like, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, you know, like it's, you know, it's sort of, you, you do have some typecasting here. And I, again, not anything against to your point, Peg and Anna Taylor Joy. I think she, it looks okay. I, and, and to be fair, even Charlie Theron's character was, wasn't, she wasn't hand to hand beating the shit out of people. She was just very skilled and smart. Yes. Like She's in Fury Road, smart. right? Yeah. She was, she was, she was out, uh, outsmarting people, right? She had a plan and she could execute it well, right? And then she was also incredible with the gun, as we saw when she sniped that dude in Fury Road. Um, yeah. where where yeah. Mad Max couldn't even take get the shot. So she's uh obviously in it we sh- we see some shots of that in the trailer too where she like you know is yeah. on using her sniper rifle and, and so she mm-hmm. clearly has some skills that she's learned somewhere. So maybe it's we're seeing that that growth as you say Dan. Mm. Um mm-hmm. I'm excited. Well I'm let's excited see. I g- see it. Yeah. I think I think yeah. she'll probably pull it off. It's just that I think maybe it's just my own internal skepticism about like I don't know, the film in general, a sequel in general, a prequel in general. Yeah. yeah. Pre- prequels but never what a tr- really do super well anyway yeah no yeah. i know I, well except yeah, for tough. like I've cl- the hunger games did shit listen True. I, 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 I mean, listen. i'm gonna talk about that later yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. um so uh, who knows right who knows? <laughs> I'm, I'm with you i'm like why do we need more prequels and then you know here mm-hmm. comes songbirds and snakes and shit and it crushes it yeah, so um, everybody likes origin stories uh, yeah do they though i don't know um i'm sort of like <laughs> Like, just the producers uh, everybody yeah. fine it's like, it seems like an easy yeah. thing to green light but otherwise it's a great way to save money i don't money. need a reason to get more vehicles ripping down a dirt road and blasting Fair. the hell out of each other so yeah, mm. yeah. Or sequel, speaking of vehicles it. yeah well let's just <laughs> yeah. listen let's just let's call it as it is this trailer's masterpiece it'll probably mm-hmm. win a lot of trailers awards god god yes god willing uh that title scroll is like listen mm-hmm, i think we're going to see that copied in a couple trailers coming forward mm-hmm. after this it's like whenever but whenever there's a trailer that sort of like does something like that breaks ground you start to see that like ripple effect and yeah. other doing it yeah yeah so, yeah um, well, it'll be interesting to see who copies this trailer format uh next um Speaking of great trailers, we're going to take a quick break and then we're going to watch Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer that dropped that is getting a lot of buzz. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back. See how quick that is? Isn't that great? Wow. Um, Just a quick ad break and then we come back. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer dropped, guys. Um, Listen, there's not a lot. They put out a a (laughs) Rockstar Games put out like the, the... the most limited press release on the planet. It literally says like three things. It says, uh, Grand Theft Auto six heads to the state of Leon, Leon, Leonida, Leonida home to the neon soak streets of vice city and beyond city. beyond in the biggest, most immersive evolution of the Grand Theft Auto series yet. Uh, like mm-hmm. I said, created by rock stars, rock star games. These guys pioneered open world, the open world genre Grand Theft Auto with, Grand Theft Auto 3, as well as Red Dead Redemption 2, and then carry that on with like Vice City, San Andreas, and uh, and and so on and so on. And Grand Theft Auto, f- is it 5, I think is the one of the highest, lar- best selling video games ever. Um, hmm. It's like, it's like, it's like Minecraft and then like Grand Theft Auto 5. Yeah. So, well, they're, uh, they're still selling Grand Theft Auto on every single wow. platform you yeah. can possibly yeah, it, buy it, it on. It, it is made... I don't even want to fathom how much money they made off this game. Um, it is but coming that's why they can in... continue to spend massive amounts of money on games. I feel like they keep breaking records for like the most yeah. expensive mm-hmm. game. Right there? Or some, yeah. Rockstar are pretty great. I, I would think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is an incredible feat. I can't imagine what they're going to do with Grand Theft Auto 6. We get a little tease here. Uh, coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, um i won't spoil the date for you let's watch the trailer and see what you guys think okay all right pressing play in three two one play let's go oh it's so pretty oh that's that is really pretty do you know why you're here bad luck i guess oh girl Oh my gosh. Can you drive that? This is very. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I'm in like uh, Miami Vice right now. Yeah, did we. 
skip train. Oh my god. Is this real life or a video game? I can already see so many, like. Oh! <gasps> Not the game. Oh my god! The twerking on the back of the car! The roof! Oh That's my god, gator. the gator! Oh my god. Oh, lots the white gators, track. Oh twerking. my god. Oh my oh, lord. Who's back? Oh, look at the crawling the way. Oh! Okay. The way to get through this is by sticking together. That being a team. Like a Oh, wow. Trust? Okay. Trust. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, that's kind of cute. Let's go. I hope it has a killer soundtrack. They always well, have a killer soundtrack. They always yeah. Do. All right. Yeah. Oh, my the radio God. Stations, man. Wow. Yeah, Florida man. Florida on full. Angie's tips it cures emotions or whatever it says. Oh, and just a bin. That's what it is. And oh, what, what, and yeah. It cures emotions. There's like a whole fucking crocodile coming into like a supermarket store somewhere. <laughs> totally. Oh, well, it's so Florida. Vice City is essentially Florida, like Miami. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what it's, it's supposed very to be. Florida. But this I, I feel like this feels more Florida, like modern. Like this feels mm -hmm. like they oh, have very. very Florida. There's there's several Florida yeah. mans mm -hmm. running it's around Florida in that trailer. Like that now? Totally. Oh <laughs> totally. Like if I lived in Florida right now, I'd be like, nailed it. Um mm -hmm. that's my dad. Um Oh, the man watering the uh sprinklers and his, Yeah, with uh, and a thong. Yeah. And a yeah, thong. Mm -hmm. yeah, dad, what are you doing? <laughs> uh in a video game. <laughs> <laughs> so, literally uh grand theft auto 6 what did you guys think literally 10 years in the making probably wow. be 12 years by the time this game comes out uh just At note least. i think this trailer has racked up i didn't need to check but it was close to 50 million views last night Wow. As of now on Rockstar's YouTube channel, it's at 85 million views. 85 on... million. So oh I think the world gosh. record is, I think, 101 million by, like, BTS in 24 hours. So... Yeah, so this is the highest watched video that's not music. Like, yeah. in, in, in the small time frame of how many views it's garnered, it is, like, the fastest to garner that many views. That's not a music release. Incredible. The Incredible. Uh, I think Rockstar might have something here. Um, <laughs> no what did you guys? <laughs> what, what, what did you guys think? <laughs> I mean, or, or Steph, kick us go off. Go for Steph. Go go. Oh gosh, <laughs> like the non-game here. Like this is so far from like like I remember playing Grain Theft Auto at like like an old boyfriend's house. Like <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. I couldn't drive. Nothing. Like I was just not having a good time and. So I didn't even know about like all the other stuff that you can do like in the world until college and like friends were playing it. And I was like, wait a second, you can go to a strip club. Like I was just, just like blown away by all these different things. This is hilarious. Like, I feel like I'm in Florida. Like I forgot I was watching a trailer for a video game. Like I thought like this all just looked very <laughs> realistic to me. And I was like, this is so real. Like, oh my God, I, <laughs> I don't know, like not. I can already see scenarios driving around and how like chaotic it's gonna be and like all the different memes and stuff like it's just oh my god it looks fun it's wild mm -hmm. <laughs> it that's such wild. an interesting take from someone who's a non-gamer that has like no experience with the franchise you're just like this looks like a damn good time this is yeah. a fun time people it twerking does. on cars <laughs> Mm -hmm. that's gonna be steph with her online character in gta 6 when it comes out she's gonna be I'm like i'm gonna be here driving working, around working on cars. there is definitely a moment in there that looks like it's character creation it's that guy here hold on let me see if i can get up on the screen it's, oh it's like I think the one you're talking about where he's like it's like in the corrections office or whatever and he's like supposed to be on the news mm. uh-huh this bit looks almost like well, that's how so grand theft thinking... auto 5 starts with you like when you make your online character it's kind of like is that it? um you're in a lineup Right, okay, so I actually That's think right. it's going to be similar now for the online creation for characters. Mm -hmm. This looks yeah, very much like that. Yeah, it's been a hot minute mm -hmm. since I yeah. played GTA V. Um, I actually have never played GTA V. I don't know why or what it was about that game. You know oh, what really? it was? I think it was because I was with people at the time who played that game, and they were insufferable. <laughs> So I was like, <laughs> you know, yeah, I don't right. want to. I mean, GTA Five then. can be insufferable at times too. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, I think this looks um, really. Uh, this looks okay. Look, this looks dope. 
I think whoever the protagonists are look incredible, especially the hot lady. This and she's the tag team. Hot. Oh, yeah. I love yeah. her. Yeah, yes. she looks cool. Yeah. She looks really, really cool. I'm very interested in her story. Um, but mostly everything about this game looks so freaking good. I am nervous for how open world this is. And like Oh I know. Oh god. I'm just I'm so <laughs> nervous. Like what if I go into like a random corner and I'm like bumping into like a thousand trash cans? Like I don't know. What's gonna happen? But they all look. It just looks really good. <laughs> Anytime I see a new vehicle, I'm like, "Can I drive that? Can I? Can I drive that? What yeah. is this thing? Can I drive that? Yeah. You see the thing in the is it strong? everything, everything, whatever it's called, anything. this hoverboat thing. Yeah. I want that. I you can ride that, that too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or at yeah. the beach, there's like mm-hmm. tons of vehicles just like you can waiting. Do anything in Grand Theft Auto Five, so like literally anything. This, but there's also like just everything, like everywhere. Like I'm like I'm gonna drive. You can that go track. BMX riding. You can go dirt biking. You can go snowboarding. Mm-hmm. Like I'm gonna drive that. You can do pretty much anything. Deal a helicopter. This plane, and I'm gonna drive this yep. car, and I'm gonna. And I don't even ever play the story really. Like the the my childhood yeah. was a lot of games, and I didn't really really remember how many games until Dan was like, "You are a gamer. Stop saying you're not." Um. But San Andreas was, like, my my big go-to. Vice City was great, but mm. I actually really just loved San Andreas for some reason. It just really clicked with me, and maybe it was just the console we yeah. had at the time. So I was like, okay, this is sick. I love that. But I was never playing the story or the missions, man. I always sucked at those, especially where they're mm-hmm. like, hey, you got to get from point A from point B in this amount of time. I can't drive because when I drive in these games, it's like driving Miss Daisy. I wanted to follow the rules and not crash into anybody. So... <laughs> I yeah, would take yeah. at least three times the amount because I wasn't taking <laughs> yeah. like fucking split corners or whatever. But this game looks kind of cool. Yeah. And then I was like, I'm such a funny gamer in a way that like I wouldn't want to drive, you know, and break the rules. I want to like drive in the lanes and like I don't want to hurt anybody. But then I would go and find, you know, the sex worker <laughs> and then get my money back. So I feel like I like my, my morals yeah. were really conflicted as a child <laughs> playing this game. Mm. But yeah, I'm very much looking forward yeah. to this one. This yeah. looks very very cool and the, just the cinematics on we're gonna all be waiting the, a while so very cool yeah. <laughs> yeah i'd like to see i think maybe i need to pick up five it does look incredible yeah gta5 yeah but, uh, you can usually catch five on a pretty good deal and jump in and i think you just give it, it so. away for free at this point yeah, it's been it's, on game pass a couple of times it might still be on game pass yeah you probably have it on your hard drive <laughs> i think at some point it just downloaded to your system you don't even know um the implementation do you have any thoughts like general thoughts oh sorry have anybody else like all the TikTok yeah. stuff? Oh, like, yeah, there's a lot of news clips and, and mm-hmm. TikTok. Is that yeah. in the game or is mm-hmm. that It's because Grand Theft Auto has always been a parody. Okay, but I was wondering, like, is that going to be something? Some Grand Theft Auto is always parody, like be, um, popular pop culture. Like with the way they're doing the trailer, I don't know. No, I think that's going to be heavily ingrained in the game. Yeah. So there's going to be oh, yeah. aspects and elements of the game where it heavily mocks social media. Mm. Yeah, it's going to utilize. Could maybe stream you. For like that could go back to the cops and such, like like you know, depending on like how crazy you are, because I know like yeah, things get heightened always in that game, and like you're in a scenario and things just get worse, and the cops are getting closer and closer. Like so, it could be. I wouldn't be surprised if there were bits in the game. There Mm -hmm. could be moments in the game where the the crooks, the villains, the bad guys are like live streaming, like look at us rob this bank right now, and then like the cops are watching, like well shit, we got to get down there (laughs) because that happens in real life now. Like people live stream and like post about don't their like crimes yeah, and yeah. cops commentate on this stuff yeah, yeah like we sure. see what you're doing <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah i mean well I, I let me throw out a quick question i know we're running a little late here on time but i just want to pose a couple questions um you know obviously gta is known for like you said dan you can do anything right like you can mm-hmm. uh, to stealing cars to uh you can literally run over people in the streets like yeah. when it showed that beach of people like with oh you know, god like, that's a danger zone <laughs> i'm pretty sure you just take a mac truck and murder all those people yeah. right like that is a it's thing bad. you're able to do in these games like you can also pick Which up a hooker terrifying. like you said Pagan. you can have sex with that hooker but then you can actually just mm-hmm. murder that person like and, yeah. and, and then drive away right um mm. so like my th- my my question is though as like it's okay because it's like a video game right there's that s- separation from real life like most people can cognitively say like i know that's a video game this trailer looks amazing it looks fucking real yeah mm-hmm. at what point is that violence a little too triggering right like you know when it looks that good they've been like, making that a, same argument for decades though yeah. honestly like people there yeah. was like all these mil- it, these are all these politicians back in the 90s that were pushing against violence in video games trying to say 
you know, kids can't tell the difference between a video game and real life. And we're talking like PlayStation one graphics, you know, and PlayStation two graphics. And they're saying people couldn't tell the difference back then. But it's a fair point that the graphics are getting to that point where it's hard to tell whether or not it's real. I have a great. Well, and I feel like that. This actually, um, I actually did an elective in college for a a psychology elective. And I wrote about how video game violence is not linked to real world violence because psychologically it actually isn't. There's no correlation between video game violence and um, making people more violent. However, violent people could be attracted to violent video games. That's just no correlation. Like one of the other yeah. doesn't mean the thing. Um, and it all actually mm-hmm. happened because that one kid in Columbine shooting, one of the first huge shootings in, in America, if not the first, he was like basically recorded to say it's going to be like fucking doom. And yeah. from then, like, everybody started blaming video games and Marilyn Manson and everybody took a fucking hit on that one. So, actually, mm-hmm. I don't I don't yeah. think that mm-hmm. there is any reason for this. I think, like, if anything, it would just be unsettling, Drew, um, for gamers who would be, well, like, used to, mm-hmm. like, you know, the, the other, like, pre-gen graphics and stuff. It might just be yeah. a little unsettling. Yeah. But I do think that Rockstar are no fools. And I feel like they've done this in a really good way. And they, they do violence, I'm sure, in Red Dead 2. And... I, yeah. I don't see an increase in like violent people out there. So yeah, n- 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 yeah, I, yeah. I feel you. No, I feel like it's I, it's getting realistic. It's very cool, but I think it also does like hit a moral. Line. It'll make it that much. Doesn't that yeah, make it? Yeah, that? Like, but mm-hmm. it, you see, you see the difference though. Like I'm playing a Western character in a Western video game. Like that doesn't in a world that doesn't exist. Anymore. Seems more detached. Right. Sure. right mm-hmm. right this feels like it's like it's today like it. like it's oh, got yeah. the tiktok it's got the news like those people especially look like out people here in florida that exist like, right now right and the fact that you can yeah. go do things to them and and like i i don't know i don't like i'm not saying i agree with you i don't think there's that correlation mm-hmm. i just think there might be it's this is definitely like one of those things like if i now that i have a kid right i am right. cognizant of like what mm-hmm. he's going to see online and what's real and what's not right like you, you know what i'm saying bigger like discussion right there yeah how there's you filter a this content for your children factor, kind of right? thing yeah and and, mm-hmm. and and like those clips are now going to be on everywhere to twitch to youtube right it's not mm-hmm. just when you're playing the game like you know, oh, my, i'm sure my daughter's going to come home from school today and be like oh i saw this really cool video of girls twerking on cars today and be like who the hell is showing you the trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6 at school right, right. Mm-hmm. she'd be like what do you mean a trailer <laughs> for Grand Theft Auto 6 it was just people in florida <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. she literally that's came home one day and we started talking about among us i'm like what do you know about among us she's like yeah the little guys they like hide and stuff and i'm like that's not what they do yeah <laughs> yeah it is Shut yeah up. yeah it's I, fine. I, yeah i think there's some valid i think i think what you're saying is valid because i agree like i feel like there's there's a limit like even like here like we had that summer where everyone was like breaking into stores and stealing stuff and like you see that in this and so it's just kind of like it kind of glamorizes it and so like some kids would be like oh well, i saw it in the game so like that looks kind of cool like so there are those kind of people but i don't know i don't yeah. think it applies I, to yeah. everyone I think it, it, yeah, psychoanalytically it's like pagan's point was on point yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. violent people are attracted Agreed. to violent games violent people are attracted to violent movies violent people are attracted to violent sports totally. like it's just it, that, but it has yeah. no mm-hmm. no correlation to people who just like horror games who like violent video games who like whatever so i think it's no correlation yeah, yeah. Yeah. sometimes like, non-violent people take that as cathartic releases yeah, of totally. just regular stress and stuff it's like <laughs> totally. the opposite yeah and the best and, thing about and to be clear, GTA my, my comment is kind of like the catharsis and like where you're just you're driving around sure. and you're doing some random shit or you're trying to get like the most wanted so that there's helicopters and everything after you and you're trying to survive as mm-hmm. long as you can before you get killed or imprisoned so um, I absolutely used to do that in Grand Theft yeah. Auto 3 the every time, time I played Fuck it get five stars time. how long can you live how long how long can you last <laughs> yeah. with like being most wanted yeah for sure so I think like this, it's just yeah. Yeah. it's a fun game, but um, I, yeah. you know what? This isn't like, it's yeah. not targeted to an audience that is supposed to be very young. I think that I, obviously all of right. the GTA games all had an R rating or an 18 rating at least. And I played them. Mm-hmm. And 100%. I fine, but back when yeah. I was mm-hmm. And those exist. So. And I think those, those rules are there for, for a reason and for yeah. good reason. And I think parents should adhere to those. Yeah, and absolutely. I'll, I think it's just in, in a world where we live where AI exists and, and we don't know what's real 
anymore sometimes right and you see a game trailer that looks this good and is doing this good like it starts i start to get like that weird like and, and you're in the and, matrix uh yeah no absolutely <laughs> and it starts to be like oh what's real and what's not in like video yeah. game world and real world like it starts to like wow that blurred the lines like that trailer looked awesome mm -hmm. um which leads me to my point and my like my final question is like like this game isn't coming you all saw 2025 release date 2025. that's and, and mm -hmm. the press release even i think says late 2025 so we're basically that's two early years, <laughs> we're basically two years away from this game um I, like the fact that they showed this trailer obviously it leaked so they kind of had to put it yeah. out there but it's kind of I mean, they were going to show it today originally originally yeah which is strange to but me it's still really early for like a I 2025 like the game i mean maybe even like a little tease I thought, I thought yeah. this trailer would drop it. Yeah, it's, it's, I think they had to do that because they're not doing Game Awards world premieres anymore. Gotcha. Right. Is it different from Jeff like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very, true, very, true, yeah. very true. Is it different from like movie and like TV trailer releases? Because like you have different trailers. Like I know you have like a cinematic trailer. You have a gameplay trailer. Oh, you they have, do. Like, yeah. yeah. All it's, these different it, ones. So does this is this normal for it to be this early? No. Not no. late. Not anymore. Like it used yeah. to be in old days of gaming but like yeah. lately they, okay. they try to like peeve them to like a year or less yeah when it comes okay. to trailers yeah and, and and let's be honest i mean it will probably be delayed so probably. i was gonna say actually <laughs> like, yeah like, like, like game 2025 means 2026 20, 20, 20, yeah 2026 so yeah mm -hmm. like so like I, I don't know if about you but i just got a major case of blue balls um watching the trailer <laughs> it's sort of like wow that looked incredible wow i have no. to wait <laughs> two and a half I mean, years to play that like that is ridiculous why Drew, do that to me rockstar hey, like what you can't you be done? as bad as the kid that when i worked at gamestop and grand theft auto 5 came out a kid brought that game back a week after it came out and said when's six coming out and i'm like probably not for like a 10 years or a decade and here we are a decade later the, yeah, <laughs> that yeah. kid is still so, sitting there waiting that kid's been waiting a long time yeah like, I, I I just have this feeling. I'm like, wow, that was really cool. Wow, thanks for showing me something I can enjoy for forever, right? Sure. Like, it's sort mm -hmm. of just is like, why did you do this to me, Rockstar? Yeah. Like, like I feel like the hype is still there, whether or not they put this out or not. Um, mm -hmm. Prediction. Let's wrap it up. Like, obviously, this has to be a perfect game. They have two years to make that happen. Can Rockstar, based on what you've seen, is are they going to be able to replicate what? what grand theft auto 5 did oh yeah and how many hookers will you kill on day one <gasps> shut up oh. maybe not any <laughs> none maybe. i'd befriend them maybe i'd, I'd hang out with them until like, one of them betrays you story. until one of them hookers betrays you pagan you're like nobody betrays me bitch and That's, you start uh, i know murdering I, it's, everyone. it's wild honestly like it's such a it's oh, such a morally conflicting game but again i was the I just fucking party on a yacht just driving in the lanes and shit well this time let me tell you i'm gonna get the helicopter yeah. after me and everything if i can give predictions this is my prediction for grand theft auto right. 6 rockstar doesn't miss Facts. they basically can't do any wrong every rockstar game at least grand theft right. auto is a banger everyone buys the hell out of it everyone can't get enough of it people are still to this day buying grand theft auto people are buying grand theft auto 5 right now as we speak yeah. by the hundreds and thousands mm -hmm. Megan just did yeah I'd yeah probably we know she just did <laughs> and she got one of the, like the mm -hmm. the great white shark cards that's like a thousand dollars of in-game currency or something like that oh gosh i don't know what that means but okay it's the digital currency they sell on top okay. of the game so you can keep spending money within the game in oh wow yeah, oh, yeah so online, i don't think they're, yeah, yeah. they're gonna miss I think yeah. that Yikes. Rockstar can put this game out whenever they want. Uh, it can come out in any state they want, and they'll be fine. They'll still get oh, right. hundreds right. of thousands of millions of dollars I think everybody thought the same sales. thing about Cyberpunk, but that, that didn't go well. But they <laughs> didn't have as much of a track record, though, Yeah, I was going to say, Cyberpunk. CD Projekt Red yeah, doesn't but... have the same kind of reputation as Rockstar does. I think, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think but that's it had the right. same hype. He hits the nail on and... It had big They also hype. announced yeah. the, tra the trailer for their game 10 years before it came out. Unless Grand Theft Auto 6 is 10 years away still. It, <laughs> it might be. Who yeah. knows? It could be. Grand uh, Theft yeah, Auto 5 has sold 25.8 million units. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think, think uh, it'll do okay. I think I it'll think be fine. They're going to do All great. Right. I think they really are going to do great. I think that it, it will <laughs> come out. I'm very yeah. nervous at how open world this is. But I am also very excited. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody wants to twerk on top of a car. I just I mean, want to yeah. see them I mean... twerk, okay? <laughs> I want to go to the club yeah. and like shake the dollar bills and stuff. And I want to yeah. do it. Mm -hmm. right. That's what the haptive, haptive triggers are for, guys. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> One I, for I was left, going to left like... booty, right booty, left booty, right booty. You're going to be, you got to like. 
Probably gotta get the rhythm actually, just right. Though. Yeah, exactly. Probably actually. Yeah. Probably. But how they're gonna like implement like? <laughs> there the was a mini game in Spider Man Two like that where you had to like. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what was that? Times probably gonna be really cool as well. Like, yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They sold shit. Yeah, I mean, there's yeah, I mean we, that was just a cinematic trailer. We don't even know what mm. the gameplay. Oh is yeah. To do, so. yeah. No word on um, PC yet though. Yeah, huh? we'll see, guys. No word on PC yet. Just consoles. No mm, word on no. PC. I mean, eventually, I think I'm they're sure going to focus will. on consoles. Sure will, I mean, yeah. let's be honest. Consoles rule the day. PCs second to none. <laughs> Every PC gamer. Fuck you, Drew. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. That, we are Get over time, so we're not going to do mm -hmm. what we reco today. Uh, obviously, Grand Theft Auto looks amazing. Mm -hmm. um, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, Pagan. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Dan, Thanks, for joining us and thank talking you. and nerding out with us today. Um, as always, you can support this show and couch soup and all our creators at couchsoup.com if you want to become a member it's free if that's your jam but you can also pay um and get some really cool perks and support us and support the people that make this show uh and write the articles and all the things like dan who's doing like monarch legacy and all that stuff so um definitely go help us out check us out we're uh it's a we're a creator funded um website project and shows so um definitely give us a give us some love there also if you just like what we're doing here give us a listen as a podcast or if you listen to podcasts or give us a like and a comment in the video below that was always that's always cool because that helps other people find us and that's what we want so um until next time uh monarch stick around for monarch uh the monarch podcast the monarch files and a about an hour or mm -hmm. 45 minutes at this point on the youtube channel is going to premiere so come back you can hang out in the live chat for that and then atlas terminal i think comes back next week uh our ttrpg show so definitely come around and 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 watch that live on twitch and then screen smash is also on friday our our gaming Ooh. show and then dan are we doing a game awards live stream What's going on with that? Can you give I'm us a hot take on that? Good to do it if you want to jump in, sir. I'm pretty much geared up with everyone over at the Screen Smash crew to do a watch along party. All right. So on December 7th, I think at 4, 5 30, 4 30 PST time. I think that's right. Yeah. So it's about a three hour show. So come come hang out. So, yeah, uh, the, the Screen game... Smash crew will be hanging out watching the Game Awards and you can hang out with us and react as we watch. And that'll be over on Twitch, on our Twitch channel, on Couch Soup Twitch channel. So yep, yep. definitely come. If you're if you're going to watch the Game Awards, come watch it with us. Watch it with uh, us. It's, <laughs> it's going to be more fun <laughs> with for the hot takes. So uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys. And we will see you for next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>